Hey everybody, Joe here with Speedway Motors Tech Talk, and today we're joined by Lonnie Unser, and we're gonna talk about head and neck support. And this is a really common thing that you see in a lot of racing. You have done a lot of racing. What do these things do? Yeah, I have. These are one of the most important pieces of safety equipment that you can buy, and it's gonna support just that, your head and neck. And there are a couple different styles here, and there are advantages and disadvantages to each. Like I say, you have kind of been in lots of different cars, lots of different scenarios. What are some of the advantages of this, which a lot of people consider to kind of be the standard Hans device? Right, so this standard Hans device is what you would see in a lot of road racing. You see it in Formula One, sports cars, Indy cars, things like that. And this is great because it's nice and compact. You can also choose this device based off of your layback angle of this seat which is also a disadvantage because if you wanted to go from car to car, uh, you may have to switch up which Hans device you're using. But this is really, really nice for the simplicity of it. And the principle here, your straps go over here and that's load is kind of then spread over the Hans device. That's exactly it. Your straps go over and your Hans is kind of, the pressure is more on your chest in this uh, format. So when are some times that maybe you don't want to wear one of these? So that's a great question. You wouldn't want to wear these if you're driving in a car with a three-point seatbelt. Uh, you can only use this device if your car or race car has a five-point seatbelt. And also, what about like rough surfaces and things like that? So this one is pretty challenging when you're on a rough surface because a lot of your load or a lot of pressure is going to fall on your collarbones, which could be kind of painful. I know from example, I raced a 400 mile off-road race this year and I used one of these standard head and neck restraints and by the end of the race, my collarbones hurt so bad. So I wish I had something like this here. And so this is then a different style. This is a hybrid style. What are some of the advantages of these? Yeah, exactly. So first thing that's really nice about these is you can go from car to car with this. So so you don't have to worry about the layback angle in this. You can also use it with a three-point seat belt, which is really nice for folks wanting to do track day events in their street car and maybe don't want to install that five-point seat belt. And so then what may be some of the disadvantages of these? So the disadvantage to this is in a sports car, this could get uncomfortable or in a formula car, there's a lot of kind of straps in the back here and that could get uncomfortable to you as a driver. Also, again, if you're in a formula car and you're really laid back, it's going to have a little bit too limited uh, range of movement for your neck. Okay, well, thank you, Lonnie. Thanks to everybody for watching.